this is the new BFR update. So I've got a collection of images here of the updated design. So, you know, a bunch of screenshots from the live stream. And we've also got the trajectory that Yusaku Maisawa, I hope I said that right, will, uh, will take around the moon. So if you don't know, he uh, simply bought all the seats on the BFR, securing a lot of funding or you know, put a lot of money into funding the, the BFR, which is great. And he also chose to take a lot of a bunch of artists with him to experience the moon and he wants to see what they come up with as a result of that. What art they can make, like he wants to take uh, musicians, sculptors, painters, architects around the moon. And yeah, uh, some key differences are the, uh, the new wings, as you can see up here, two of them can like uh, change angle so they are actuated uh, and so are these in the front that are new and the three at the bottom there will also function as legs which on the previous design there was like the two fins and the, the vertical stabilizer and then that was like four legs independently which was weird um, and also they've gone back to the as you can see here the, the big the side at the front there which i like because it's a way cooler window it looks cool from the from the inside but anyways uh some other key differences are the engines which are all vacuum optimized uh, nozzles which means that all this small size which will also be same as on the, the on the booster sta stage which is weird or at least different because this spaceship part you would think would be optimized for vacuum or at least have some engines that are and that it was on the previous design thankfully tim dart the everyday astronaut asked the question in the q a section of the stream hey elon uh tim dart the everyday astronaut here uh, i see that you changed the engine configuration for the bfs can you talk a little bit about you know is there still engine out capability you know is it vacuum optimized but still landable on sea level can they function as an abort system can you just kind of tell us about your new decision making on that? So in order to minimize the development risk and, and cost, we decided to commonize the engine between the booster and the ship. A future upgrade path for BFS would be to have a vacuum optimized nozzle. These are sort of kind of a sea level nozzle, size nozzle, so that they are able to operate well at sea level. You can actually switch out those cargo sections for a, a vacuum nozzle version of, of Raptor. But then your, your total payload performance to Mars would increase significantly. But we can do the 100 tons to the surface of Mars with those engines. But it would definitely, I think, like version two would, would have the vacuum engines most likely in, in place of those cargo racks. In that configuration, you know, with, with, with seven engines means it's definitely capable of engine out at any time, and in, including two engine out in, in almost all circumstances. That was uh, that's some of the updates. There are also uh, uh, key differences on the flight profile. But basically, uh, what they do this time is they glide all the way down using the body to break it, which is the same as last time. But now they just use the, the two, the four actuated fins to sort of stabilize it. But then when they get down into this territory, when they get down to like 20 kilometers, they're gonna put the ship totally sideways, going down up until right when they want to fire the engine, which is crazy. It's gonna go down like a skydiver, as Elon Musk said. Go down like this, and then turn up, and then start the engine, which is right here. You can see it, when it turns, it gains speed again, because it's way sleeker going down through the atmosphere. So uh, we're gonna build this and try and do it in Kerbal Space Program. That's bad. That's really bad. <laughs> Whoops. It's just raining parts all over. 
So three, two, one, launch. And there we go. Yay. Now let's build it to the side. Oh, look at those wings. Oh, this, this is gonna explode. This is bad. <laughs> Holy shit. Should I maybe have um, allowed part clipping? Maybe I have to do that. Oh, this engine is just firing off. That's going to space, I can tell you that much. Okay, so sadly, I guess I'm gonna have to get rid of all these windows. That's annoying. Then that should be able to fly, right? And there it is, my BFR with no windows. That's how it is. Lovely tin tin rocket. Three, two, one, go. Oh, look at that thrust to weight ratio. I didn't even notice that. That's like, oh, that's bad. Wait, what? Was that all the fuel? That literally all the fuel. No way. That looks beautiful. Just crawling off the path. Try and tilt it over a little bit. And land off to the side here. Can I, can I save it? I can't. Okay. That also, oh yeah, I need RCS on it. Now let's try and land it. What a landing, but <laughs> nope. Ah, oh, that just got yeeted. Damn it. Okay, so those fins can't hold the... That was a beautiful landing though. That's annoying. <laughs>